Hey guys, it's me Minori. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! Okay, so guys, I'm so excited. Today I'm going to be shopping for the whole day for art supplies. So if you guys have been following me, you would know that I'm actually back in the States. San Francisco, California to be exact. And it's been two and a half years. It's really, really nice to be finally back. Finally back with my family and my friends. But the thing is, I have no art supplies here. All my paints are now kind of old and crusty. I kind of had to throw away a lot of stuff. And there's just like nothing for me to make art here. So I'm just going to dedicate the whole day to some art shopping. First off, I'm going to go to this place in San Francisco that I've actually never been to before. And I'm also thinking about going to Michael. I'm just so excited. So let's just jump right in. Going to a huge art hall. Let's get started. Okay, so first here I am at the Blick Art Materials. It's actually my first time here, but they have really high ratings, so I'm really excited. Let's check it out. This place is huge. Oh my gosh. This is like the biggest art place that I've ever been. So let's look around. They have like toys and puppets and stuff. Ooh, a puppet notebook. Oh, these look so cute. But you know what guys, I'm here to look at some art stuff. So I'll come back for these toys maybe a different day. This is kind of interesting. Fashion studio. I might be able to make some clothes for my dolls. Bob Ross! I've always wanted to do like a Bob Ross tutorial video. What do you guys think? A Bob Ross planter? <laughs> and a Bob Ross bobblehead. Interesting. So what do I need? I definitely need a lot of paints and paintbrushes. Ooh, I love these brushes. Let me get each of them. Oil paint, acrylic. There's so many to choose from. Look at this aisle. And there's more over here. I hope it doesn't fall down. I could try these brushes. These look really nice too. I kind of want to like try a lot of different kind of brushes to see which one I would like the most. Buy more, save more. So yeah, let's buy more. This. Oh, this is so huge. So many different kinds of brushes, but this makes me happy. What else? Ooh, some palettes. I love these paper palettes. I actually want to bring one back to Japan. Ooh, some containers to store your paint. And some palette knife. There's so many palette knives! Ooh, look at how small these are! I use a lot of these like really micro brushes. So the more the merrier. And maybe this. <laughs> look at all these brushes! I'm literally in this aisle for like 10 minutes and I still can't stop. Okay, let's move on. There's so much more to see here. And what do we have here? Ooh, some beads! Deco patch. That's cute. Ooh, these textured ones are so pretty. Markers. Yes, I definitely need some markers. I wonder if they have Copic markers. Screen printing. I've always wanted to do screen printing. And some colors for screen printing. Hmm. Hopefully, I can do some screen printing in the near future. Maybe a gold. Oh, there's two golds. I like this one better. Let's go with this one. You guys might not be able to tell, but I'm actually really, really excited. Like, I don't think I'm gonna use these, but I think it'll be really pretty to put in the background. Let's get two. And onto the next section. And here we have a lot of sketchbook. There's so many, I can't choose. I don't know which one's good. Hmm. This one says it's for comic manga. I wonder if it works with Copic markers. Let's see. I want something that works with watercolor. Does this work? Let's try this. Okay, moving on. And this, I think, is the pottery section. Silicone molds and some Sculpey. Let's get one of these with play softer. Maybe this. 
I can't read. Got it. Yes. One of this. Hmm. Angela's leather paint. I love these. But they're like so expensive in Japan. <gasps> Up to 10% off. Oh my gosh. These cost like 80 to 100 dollars in Japan. I definitely need to get this. And guys, I found Copic markers. Look at all these Copic markers. Oh my gosh, $210 for 36 markers. Okay, while I love Copic markers, I don't think I'm gonna buy any today because they're just really expensive here. It's like $8 for a pen here, but it's only like $2 in Japan. I think I'm gonna buy a bulk in Japan and bring it back. In the meantime, I wanna try using other markers. We don't have these in Japan, so it's like perfect for me to try them out. Hmm. Maybe this. A gray lavender. That's six markers. And I also want the darker colors. Also want this. Did I get lime? I forgot. Second? Nope, I haven't gotten this yet. Maybe this. I hope they don't fall. Oh, and some Posca paint pens! Fun fact, they have colors here that Japan doesn't have. So while I could get them for cheaper in Japan, there are so many new colors that I want to try them out. I didn't want to talk too loud there because there are so many people but I'm so excited because I've never seen all these colors for Posca paint pens which is very interesting because Posca paint pens from Japan but Japan doesn't have these colors Love them! And guys, I think I'm done here Let's go check them out And now I'm at Michael's Let's go! <gasps> this is $13? Oh my gosh, that's so cheap. I definitely need to get this. Are these the same colors? Okay, no. Okay, there you go. Wait. These are actually cheaper. Let me put those back and get these. So I was kind of nervous at the other place because it was my first time there. But I just feel so home here. This was basically my go-to craft place ever since I was a kid. Here are some glitters. Ooh, these are so pretty. I want to put them into slime. So what do they have here? Oh, scrapbooks. Some more scrapbook stuff. Wait, what? There's DIY kits from Juicy Couture? I used to love that brand. This is so random. You could also buy one and get one 50% off. Oh my gosh, I really didn't know Juicy Couture makes all these like DIY kits. Interesting. And look at all these Cricut stuff. So if you guys know me, I have a Cricut machine back home in Japan, but I don't have one here. And I'm really, really thinking about getting another one. I use that machine all the time. This color is so pretty. Maybe this. Maybe this. And I need some black. There. Moving on. What do we have here? Ooh, look at all these containers! Hmm... This is kind of interesting. What are these? Cloud puffs. Oh, so you use like water to like glue them together. Let's see, what do we have here? Some kids toys. I love kids toys. This one you can make your own paper. Crayon melter. And oh look, you can make your own comic book. <gasps> this is so cute! I mean, I don't need it, but it's just so cute. It's like a house for mini fairies. So adorable. M I N O R I. So, a Cricut machine to buy or not to buy. Like I said before, I have a Cricut machine back at home in Japan, but I think I want another one so I can use it here. And look, there's so many different versions. Oh, this is tough. Hmm. 
Okay, maybe next time because it's going to be too big for me to carry around. But definitely next time. And guys, I think I'm ready. And I'm back. Today was another long day. By the way, I came back from my friend's wedding as well. And I was shopping around for dresses. And the worker there asked me if I was shopping for prom. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I am back with a lot of art supplies. And this makes me so, so happy. I'm going to be going back and forth to Japan and the States a lot. So yeah, my art supplies in Japan stays in Japan. And here I needed some new supplies. So let's see what I got. So it was my first time going to Blick Art Materials, but it was literally the biggest art store that I've ever seen. And I just loved everything there. So what do we have? So I got a lot of paintbrushes. And some more paintbrushes. I mean, there are so many different kinds of paintbrushes. I wanted to see which one works best for me. Here, I got some like marker holders. This I'm going to put in the back and put up some markers. In this bag, we have a lot of markers and some Posca paint pens. So my favorite markers are the Copic markers, but they're so expensive here. They're literally like two to three dollars in Japan, while they're like eight to ten dollars here. So I'd rather buy them in Japan and bring them over here. But in the meanwhile, I wanted to try out these Blick Studio markers. I've never used them before, so I don't know if they're good or not. It's always fun to try out new art supplies. So it has a brush on one side and a thick pen on the other side. Just like Copic markers. They were like four to five dollars. So they're a lot cheaper. So yeah, we'll see. And I'm just gonna put them up like so. Oh, so cute. And here I've got some Posca paint pens. If you guys know me, I use them all the time. And they're actually from Japan. But the thing is, there's a lot more colors in the States than in Japan. Which is so weird. So yeah, I just had to buy them and try them out. And I'm probably going to bring them back home to Japan. Perfect. So they look something like this. And I'll just put them like right here. And wait, there's more. I mean, a lot more. For example, this paint by number watercolor set. This is actually not mine. My mom got this. It looks fun. And here, we've got some sketchbook and some paper palette. These are so useful. I love them. And I just wanted to try these out. It's also really important to find like the right paper and stuff. So let's see if I'm gonna like them. And if I do, I'm probably going to buy more. I'm gonna put these right here. Oh my gosh, it's looking more and more like an art room. I love it. Next, I've got some Angelus paint. I use them all the time in Japan, but they're like so, so expensive in Japan. They literally cost like $100 for a pack. So these are like the more normal colors, and these are the neon colors. By the way, I think I've told you guys before, but I've been like painting on shoes a lot. Kind of my new hobby. So they each come with 12 paint, so 24 new paints in total. Next up, I got some more paint, but they're not like normal acrylic paints, but these are for some screen printing. You guys know me, I like to DIY clothes a lot, and I've been really, really interested in screen printing for a very long time. I also got a pack of Sculpey. I don't think I've ever done like clay art before on this channel. I have a few clay art videos on my other channel if you guys are interested. So yeah, I do like playing with clay time to time. I also got some tools, this clay roller, clay softener, and some clay adhesive. And lastly, I've got these sequins and beads. I mean, they're so pretty. I love the colors. This aqua turquoise blue and this lavender purple. It's just so me. I don't know if I'm going to use them, but I wanted to put it up in the back. Like this. Love it. And oh, here we got a really long receipt. Um, Oh, it's so hard for me to look at this. And the grand total is 540. Yes, I know. So these are all the stuff that I got at Blick Art Materials. And there's more. So after that, I went to Michael's to get some more stuff. Okay, so at Michael's, I actually got a lot of Cricut stuff. But I do have a Cricut machine back in Japan. So I'm gonna bring back a lot of these back home with me. But hopefully in the future, I could get like another cricket machine to put in the back here. 
So I've got some like smart irons, some permanent bundles, more irons. I mean, I love this color. It kind of reminds me of Elsa. And this purple and this lavender. So pretty. And I got some chocolate. I just look up these like sprinkles. I thought it would be really cute to put in some slime. So these are for some slimes. And here I've got some letters. Give me a M. Give me an I. N. O. R. I. <laughs> yeah, it spells Minori. Where should I put this? Maybe I could put it right here. How does that look? And we're almost done. Last but not least, ta -da, a pack of paints. 36 colors. I have to say, that's a lot. So here I have like a paint organizer and I wanted to fill this all up. Guys, this is so satisfying. Currently putting them in like randomly, but if I could, I want to put them in like the color of the rainbow. Roy Yeevil. And I have two left. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I love it. And now I'm just gonna put them in the back. Oh, it's so heavy. My room looks extra crafty now, and I love it. And guys, I think we are done with our haul. So what, it cost me around like 540 for my first haul, and for my second haul, it was around like 140. If you put the two together, it was around 650. I know, praying for my bank. Yes, it's been a lot, but hopefully I can make more videos for you guys in the future. It was a really needed haul. Anyways, I'm really happy. I had a great day and hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. Bye.